the world. Let's start. We will isolate our legs. We'll dribble uh, in a different way, in different ways. So we'll lay down on the floor. We'll keep dribbling. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do it forward, backwards. We'll turn. We'll, we'll stand up. We'll sit down. And we keep dribbling all the time. We'll stand up. We'll start dancing with the ball. We start dancing with the ball. Ah, oh, she is uh, she is going to the disco next. A very important thing about this drill is to make them know where uh, the ball should be put on the floor. How to work with our arm. If we are standing like this, in this loose position, we got our knees uh, bended, flexed. The ball uh, should not disturb us while we are moving. So the ball should be put on the floor a little bit in front of us. Another hand should be protecting the ball. We'll do this right now, standing in the same spot. After a few dribbles, we change uh, our hand, and the other hand is protecting the ball. I didn't mention. I didn't mention uh, where I put my focus. While I'm, t while I'm teaching a dribbling. Uh, these are three things. The first thing uh, is uh, how much strength we put to our arm to operate the ball. I always repeat, you should uh, make a hole here uh, in the floor. Uh, don't let the ball uh, hit your hit your face here. Uh, second thing, uh, from the very beginning, you have to uh, uh, teach the players every type of changing direction. Even if the kids struggle with those changes. Uh, make them comfortable with that. Make, make them try to feel comfortable with that. And the third thing, don't look at the ball. The, uh, your side should be um, should be not should, should should be controlled by the ball. So we are standing in front of the con. The con is our opponent. We protect the ball and we start dribbling. We change the hand once again. Different types of changing the hand between the legs. Behind the back, with uh, with Bible. the first uh, the first dribble with the first bounce and over dribbling the defender. It has to be dynamic. It has to be quick. This is where, uh, where I pay my attention to. The, uh, we don't look at the ball, we look at the floor. 
The ball is ready to be passed. So with this with this leg, I try to separate my, myself from the defender and to protect my body from the defender. We add our hand to protect the ball. This step has to be quick, has to be dynamic. We'll do a few repetitions. To the other side. Then we'll add a fake. <coughs> we'll, we'll fake, but it should be a very light fake. I don't want any fakes uh, when I will put the uh, put the way put the pressure to the to this leg. It will not uh, give us any benefits. It will make uh, another move much slower. It should be a short move, short fake, short fake, and then we are moving in another direction. Let's cheat the defender, let's fake the defender with our face. With every part of our body. You have to convince the defender of going this way. But you will choose this way eventually. So 
sometimes try to uh, try to leave the hand on the other person. Then you, then you will find out that some of you don't have a balance at all. My body should be placed on both of my legs. This uh, game is called Around the World. We can change directions, we can change the hands. Right now I can with uh, in this position, with one hand on the floor, with two legs on the floor, one hand dribbling. We change the hand. Where should we add another ball to these drills? I think the perfect time for this is when um, the player can already uh, dribble pretty well with his right hand and with left hand. What about the big man? Uh, do the big man have to uh, dribble as well as the point guards and shooting guards, it would be great. But we have to remember that in the future, their tasks will be a little bit different. So we don't have to focus. Uh, focus on that big man. It's not crucial for this big man to dribble as well as the perimeter players. But uh, it uh, doesn't let us. But it doesn't let us stop working with the big man and, it, and, and her dribbling. The rules are they have to dribble the ball to the other side. Um, the defenders can move only in a defensive stance on their lines. So uh, the players with the balls have to think of choosing the best way to get to the other side. Uh, when to accelerate, when to slow down, and uh, look at the setting of every player on the on the court. Uh, when the player is touched, have to come back to, to the line. So, uh, the, once again, the defenders will just move on the line. And the uh, players with the ball can use the full court. So, we can decrease the number of the defenders. Right now, we'll change our, uh, our end with the crossover. They work five or six years. As there are some of the girls here who work three years. And still, uh, the dribbling some, sometimes disturbs them. Right now, between the legs. Please pay attention to the mistakes that they are making.
uh, what will this change of direction give us if we don't protect the ball with the leg? If after changing the direction, our next uh, dribble will not be offensive. Our task is to um, to make this uh, this mistake. Uh, very often, coaches just let them dribble and they don't care about these details. Some of them were changing the, the ball like this. That was a change between the legs. Um, if we uh, dribble in the same spot, it will not bring us any benefits. Of course, uh, it's a question of instincts, but the first thing is to put ourselves in a lower position. Other hand will be, has to be ready to take the ball. So the ball must be passed, must be dribbled with a lot of strength. After, after this dribble, the next dribble is very important. It's, it has to be offensive and we have to receive a lot of energy, a lot of push from our legs. So they start working better. Now we see we improve, but if we don't pay attention to details, uh, they will uh, uh, they, they will make a habit of that. Yes, uh, it will be it will become a habit. This is bad uh, bad way of of dribbling. Behind the back right now. Over and uh, a dribble between the legs. <coughs> then we start it behind the back and then we'll uh, turn it around. Then we'll try to mix these things. They will choose what kind of dribble they want to use. Big men struggle a little bit more than the perimeter players. Number 10, for example, what was one? Two years ago, uh, during the national championship, if somebody loses the ball, uh, goes back to the, to the beginning of the task and has to do five push ups, for example. Uh, if the player is touched, does the same thing. So right now we are working uh, in a short distance until the half line. Very important question. The next player starts when the first player is in the middle of the way between a second and a third cone. If uh, she doesn't catch until the half line, you made your task.
So we will end the task of the fifth column. Then we'll move here to the sixth column. So when we when we're here at the five, fifth column, we'll move like that. And then we have to move to another column right there at the end of the task. The, the finish line is here. Different uh, ways of dribbling. Different dribbling.
może robić jeden na jeden. So we start. Let's start like drip, where we practice dribbling and where we practice passing. We start from isolating our legs. So we will explain to the players how they should position their hands, their arms. The ball is not, doesn't look like that. It's not that big. If she's going to position her hands like that, she will, the ball will hit her face, hit her nose. What I will tell you right now uh, will not be proper politically. I talk to the players, pass to their head, pass at their head. Then, then, then they will always be ready to catch. Uh, we'll uh, show different types of passing. So, every girl is showing some uh, different way of passing. Above your head, chest pass, a right hand pass, left hand pass, uh, right hand bounce pass, chest pass, bounce pass. We wanted to show three different types of passing that I teach from the very beginning. Uh, chest pass, uh, which is a, a topic of a long discussions and controversial discussions between the coaches. If we should uh, teach that or not. I think we should teach it at the first stage of our training. It will uh, help us pass the ball without so many turnovers. Uh, then the passing above your head and the passing with one hand. Once again. Talk to each other. Talk loud. If uh, the receiver of the ball doesn't see the line of the pass, we should not uh, wait for him. We should create this line of the pass. We can do it in a, with a two way. Um, passing the ball uh, with the right hand together with moving the right leg. After the pass, the hand should be, the whole arm should be uh, flattened.
So right now the uh, player in the middle will disturb us. But we'll keep stimulating this process. We'll talk to the players in the middle. If you approach the player with the ball and if you decide to raise your hand high, or you put your hands in this wide position, if you put one of your hands up high and the other one in the lower position, uh, you should uh, keep this position until This drill the, the players have to the players have to uh, read and react to what the defense, uh, what the defense is giving in clockwise. Of course, we can give the tasks. What kind of passes we expect from the players? If it's chest pass, pass pass, or different way of passing. Right now, it will make it a little bit more difficult. So we'll pass the player in front of us, but we'll run. Uh, we'll run to the other side to the other player. Cross. So here we will be passing clockwise, but we'll be running in the other direction. You pass the ball to the player in front of us. But you run to the other side. Right now, passing up above your head. Right now, it will be even more complicated. Square, three players in every corner. I don't know why they are hesitating. Because this drill that we're showing right now, we use it uh, very often. We receive the ball from the right side. We pass the ball to the player in front of us. And uh, we are following the pass with our, with our run. The player who passed the ball uh, will run to the other side after the pass. Right, right now we'll change direction, we'll receive the ball from the left side. Like what I saw, 
we uh, change something and we will look at how they react. It will be perfect if they, not, if they don't commit an mistake. We receive the ball from the left side. Right side. Left side. Right now, very interesting drill. It will be something like this a spider, spider net, I think. Uh, the passes will be thrown to different uh, spots. We expect uh, them to be focused and to exchange the player in the middle. We communicate with each other. We show how we want to receive the ball. We show the hands to communicate how we want to receive the ball. You have to look for the ball. Patty is our new player and she doesn't understand this drill. Um, the player who passed the ball from the middle. Please show how you want to receive the ball. After the pass, we don't want the same players to exchange between themselves all the time. We want to communicate with all of the players on the, on the court. You give the pass and you exchange with the other player, not with the same player all the time. We don't need to hurry in this drill. We have to pay attention, we have to focus on the precision of our passing. We, do, we have to uh, be, uh, be uh, calm down. The last drill, the last passing drill. Four, three, five, two. Sit on the That's good. They will pass the ball to the coach to cross screen. And then they exchange another pass and they shoot. Another form will be they exchange the first the first pass between us. They pass to the coach. They exchange another pass. They finish.
we uh, want to increase the number of the passes and the quickness of the passes. Go! Right now, two passes at the end. Go! One pass, pass to the coach, now exchange two passes. So there are a lot of drills. 